It's the middle of winter, a time when I'm usually just dreaming about sunshine. But this year, I brought the sun inside to work for me. I had solar panels installed, two of them, not for electricity, but to heat my hot water. From washing clothes and dishes, yuck, to taking a shower. Hey now, a little privacy please. This simple system is designed to harness the sun's free energy to pay for up to two-thirds of a typical homeowner's hot water bill. Depending on the design, costs roughly range from two to $10,000, and there are some pretty sweet tax incentives that can cut your costs in half in some cases. My estimated payback time, about five to six years. It took my plumbing and electrical solar team, Smart Systems USA, about three days to install. First, they determined if the house was a good candidate. Southern exposure, tree shade, and roof pitch are all factored in. This instrument, called the Solar Pathfinder, shows how much sun lands on your roof during different times of the day. The sun is running at the 3.30 mark, so we can see where we have our shading on the left-hand side, so we're going to lose a little bit of the um, radiation from the sun there. Later in the day, we're pretty much wide open to the sun. Once my roof passed, the next step was placing panels to collect the most heat. The sun warms a freeze-proof solution called propylene glycol, which circulates through panels and down pipes into a hot water tank inside the house. Heat is transferred from the glycol to your water, and then the glycol circles back to the panels to collect more heat. Pretty straightforward. The main trick, running lines so they don't look hideous from the outside. Most homes have an attic to route through, which makes it easier. If you don't, like me, make sure installers have a plan to hide lines or box them in. Like this. You'll also need a backup heat source for cloudy days. I hooked my tank to a new efficient gas-fired boiler. In the summer, I don't expect to need much backup fuel at all. And I was surprised. Even now on cold days, if the sky was clear, water temps climbed close to 100 degrees just using the sun. But snow, well, that doesn't help. I got a little stir-crazy waiting for it to melt. In fact, the panels can start to make you a little nuts. At first, I watched the temperatures like a hawk, timing my showers to use the least backup fuel. I also started to think my neighbor's trees were cramping my solar gain, so I went to ask a basket about doing some trimming. My neighbor Chris, she's a former police captain, great sport, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, yeah, never mind. I'll take a cold shower over a ticked off pit bull any day. Finally, I just chilled and took a cue from my solar panels. Turns out, this is a pretty good place to work on my winter tan while waiting for spring. I'm Gwendolyn Bounds and I'm up on the roof and all about the house for the Wall Street Journal.